Adobe Captivate 12.4 has just been launched, and we are excited to unveil this new update packed with features designed to elevate your e-learning development. Version 12.4 introduces exciting improvements such as question pools, enhanced padding controls, simulation upgrades, direct publishing to Adobe Learning Manager, customizable project dimensions, file hyperlinking, and resizable hotspots. Let's start with the standout feature of this release, the new and improved question pools. With question pools, you can build a collection of questions that your quizzes can pull from randomly. You can set up different pools based on difficulty, topic, or objective, and then choose questions from those specific pools to add variety to your quizzes. This approach makes sure learners are tested on a wide range of topics or skills, and since each person gets a unique set of questions, it makes it tougher for them to share answers. You can now create more engaging simulations with the ability to add blur areas, manually capture additional screenshots, and include interactive components on full motion recording slides. With the new recording pod, you have full control to play, pause, cancel, or end the session during your recording. You can also easily capture extra screenshots during your recording. You can now protect privacy and keep sensitive information secure by adding a blur effect to specific areas in your simulation project. Full motion recording slides work like videos, capturing everything happening on your screen. You can now add simulation components to your FMR slide. With Adobe Captivate 12.4, you can preview your course using different project dimensions and optimize your content for larger screens. By default, the project size is 1366 by 768, and you can now select preset or custom sizes to preview your project and ensure that it appears appropriately on different screen sizes. The fixed or proportional display options lets you determine how the content adapts on devices. Padding is a space between your content, like text, images, or buttons, and its border. It gives your content some breathing room, helping avoid a cluttered look. When used right, padding creates a cleaner, more polished design and improves the user experience by making interactive elements easier to click, reducing accidental selections. Adobe Captivate 12.4 introduces enhanced padding controls for components and blocks, giving you more control over the spacing within your slides. You can now easily add padding to individual elements, ensuring a clean and organized layout that enhances the visual appeal of your e-learning content. Adobe Captivate version 12.4 brings to you seamless integration between Captivate and Adobe Learning Manager, Adobe's learning management system. You can now publish your course directly to ALM's content library from within Captivate at the click of a button. You can now maintain a smooth and well-structured learning experience by enabling learners to easily access additional materials such as PDFs, documents, or multimedia files without leaving the course. Hyperlinks also improve performance by reducing the file size of your e-learning project. With Adobe Captivate 12.4, you can create a more accessible and user-friendly interface for your hotspot interactions by resizing your hotspots to be easily recognizable and easy to engage with. Make your hotspot interactions more user-friendly by resizing the hotspots. This wraps up our overview of the new features in 12.4. We hope you're as excited as we are and start exploring these features today. Enjoy!